Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode we built this base, as you can see if you've been following the series I've added to it since, with all of these storage containers that can fit pretty much everything in the game you could possibly need, including stupid stuff like bulb bushes, which I have none of, would you believe? Uh, today what I want to do is go down into the inactive lava zone and see if we can get some kyanite and if we can continue the story at the alien thermal plant but before i do that i have a few things i want to make you'll see on the right there i have the reinforced dive suit and the recipes for a few things i can't make yet plus an upgrade station if we are going to go into the inactive lava zone and later on the lava lakes a reinforced dive suit would be a really smart decision because it just reduces the amount of damage you take from the heat as among other things of course there's plenty of things down there that can hurt you and it's a very easy piece of equipment to make. I just need a couple of diamonds, which I have. And then we need a benzene, which I have loads of now because I have like an infinite supply. And then I need to get some fiber mesh, which is just from creep vine clusters. Are any of mine grown yet? No, we can't use those yet. Right, let's go get some of the wild ones then. Stab that a couple of times. And what I want to do is get all those other materials you see for the recipes with kyanite in them. So that when I'm down there, I can just head back to the cyclops and make those components on the cyclops. And not have to come all the way back for this. Let's make a fiber mesh. Synthetic fiber. And then the reinforced dive suit. There we go. So let's equip that. That will replace the uh, radiation suit, which is no longer really useful. So what the reinforced dive suit does exactly is just reduce the damage you take by 50%, which is pretty big. Very useful. I've been putting off getting that for a while, but it's really, really useful. On top of that, it'll take your heat resistance from 50 degrees Celsius up to 70 degrees Celsius, or 122 to 158 for the Americans. But it does also slightly reduce your swim speed. But we have the sea glide and we have ultra glide fins as well if I don't have the sea glide on me. But we have that now. So that will help us survive a little bit easier. It still won't make you immune to the heat in those zones. But it'll just make it a bit less of a problem. It would have been really helpful when I was building that bloody thermal plant I built. Right, so now we need this other stuff. So two polyaniline. I don't remember what polyaniline is. Hydrochloric acid and gold salt and deep shrooms. I have an infinite supply of salt, so that should be fine. Let's make two hydrochloric acid. Mix that with my last two pieces of gold. Unfortunately, I'll have to gather some more then. That's fine. I know a place. Then I need a wiring kit, which is very simple. Just two silver. Wiring kit. Two lithium. A diamond and a lead. Then a computer chip, which I'm gonna need another piece of gold for, but we can get that in a second. So I need some table coral. Uh, do I have a plasteel ingot, by the way? Oh good, there we go. Alright, so for gold, it's very simple. We're just going to go down into the jelly shroom biome and break a few pieces of shale. Chances are it'll give me gold very quickly. Here's a lithium. Diamond again. I was running out of those, so I don't mind. Another lithium. There we go, a piece of gold. Right then, then it's just a piece of table coral I need. If we bring all that with me to the inactive lava zone and grab kyanite, we should find that we can make all the upgrades, which would make my sea moth, not sea moth, sorry, uh, cyclops and prawn suit fully upgraded. I think I'm missing something though. Where's the um, prawn suit thermal reactor? Okay, we'll need two more polyaniline. Oh no, wait, that's the one I do have. So it's the cyclops thermal reactor? Where's that? Oh, they're the same. They just require different amounts of uh, resources. So I need another two polyaniline. That's fine, that is literally nothing things I have infinite supplies of all over, so fine, we need to make another wiring kit though. Really quickly, let me get some table coral as well. Here we are. Really quickly, let's actually make the computer chip because I have a lot of stuff in my inventory right now, so that'll help. Then we need to make an additional wiring kit and some more polyaniline. Down to my last silver. Right, Trims, where are you? I only have four, I'll go get two more, that's fine. And I'll need two salt. Here we are. Full plant bed of them. How are the jelly shrooms doing? Yeah, I started growing jelly shrooms because I found out you could. Oh, do they glow? Or is that the creep vines? I think the creep vines are the ones that are glowing, actually. Yeah, with the little seeds. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Is there exterior plant pots I can use as, like, a lighting system outside? That would be nice. I'll have to check that later. 
Oh, I'll need two more gold. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, then. Back down into the jelly shroom, I guess. There we go. One gold. Getting more diamonds than I would have liked. There we go. Another gold. Cool. That should be all of it. With that, we should have every resource we need to make all the other upgrades. We just need the kyanite to go with it. Although I have just realized that the cron suit upgrade actually does have to be made at the moon pool for a vehicle upgrade console. So we're going to have to come back anyway. Isn't that just hilarious? Don't you love that? <laughs> all that effort and I'm still going to have to come back anyway. Well, we have the resources at least. Let's put these over here. But yeah, you know what? I need to make the upgrade console. Or at the modification station, sorry, up here. For a while I have the stuff. At least here we can make most of the other stuff. At the very least, though, we have the thermal reactor for the Cyclops possible. And then we can recharge the prawn suit in the Cyclops. So it's not too bad. Still annoying. So. This time we want to go to the Lost River and we want to take the Cyclops and Prawn suit with us rather than the uh, Seamoth, since Seamoth cannot go deep enough for the next area. So let's head over to the Bulb Zone and then find the Lost River entrance again. And this time I also have some purple tablets so we'll be able to get that one room now that's up to two speed. I'll see you guys over there. Now you know what I just realised? I don't use the Bulb Zone one. <laughs> I use the Blood Kelp one because of its useful proximity. So we actually want to go to Life Pod 2. Oh, that's so far away. Okay, we'll go that way then. Mildly annoying, I forgot I wanted to use that entrance. All right, here we are in the Blood Kelp biome. Now, I don't precisely remember where that one thing is, but I'm going to go down to slower speed so we make less noise. Because there is a Ghost Leviathan somewhere in there. Let's turn off the sonar, that's just draining power. If I remember correctly though, these lights aren't doing anything. If I remember correctly, it's basically right here. We just need to, like, turn around, which you can do in the Cyclops, but I could also check the cameras first to see if that helps. Hmm. Difficult to tell. Oh, hey, I see a time capsule down there. Let's go get that. What do you have for me? Okay, someone took a picture of the mushroom forest, and it gave me a bunch of first aid kits. I already had a bunch, but I'll take more. Add that to the massive pile of first aid I already brought. <laughs> the extra food's nice. I'll just eat that nutrient block. Right. Where is this damn entrance? It's so hard to see. Maybe I should take the prawn suit out for a quick scouting mission just to find it. So I can't see shit in the Cyclops. Oh, that Ghost Leviathan's infected, I think. Is that even possible? I think it's just a weird glow then. Ah, this is the entrance. God, we have to get very close to that Ghost Leviathan, don't I? Alright. Oh, Ampy Lillo. Right, let's leave the prawn suit there as a marker and I'll go get the Cyclops down here. Why is that so close to here? That's so annoying. Oh yeah, we were miles off. <laughs> Go into the camera mode here. Now oh, there's a warper down there. Pain in the ass. Here we are. Let's grab the prawn suit again. Now, I don't think I'm a skilled enough Cyclops pilot to take this all the way through the Lost River, but I can at least take it to the entrance there and then the prawn suit can take us the rest of the way. Having a mobile base at the mouth of the Lost River biome is pretty convenient, all things considered. I should probably use a camera. Weirdly, the back one seems to be the most useful one. Now, we have to be careful going in here because there is another ghost leviathan. But I don't think anything else in here can really bother us. I can't see now. Use the top one. Probably keep to the left. Now, I don't want to get myself too entangled. Yeah, there's that ghost leviathan. I don't want to get myself too entangled in various things that it becomes hard to reverse out of here or turn around and leave. So let's probably leave this here. We're still 1300 meters closer than my next stationary base, which makes it worth it in my mind. Let's make sure I've got all the materials I would need. Food, water, let's drink an extra water, since I have millions of it now. Uh, tablets, first aid, let's go. There's a worker there, right? Let's try and scoot down the middle in between these two nightmares I have to deal with. Oh, getting a bit close to the Leviathan there. Let's go over here then. So incredibly not chill down here. So this is the only area of the Lost River that's of any real concern to me. A massive waterfall. Could be hard to get back up with the prawn suit, but I believe in myself. There are things you can climb. Failing absolutely everything, I can always just see glide out. <laughs> so I do want to check the research facility we went to before. 
because it has a room we didn't get open because I forgot to bring a tablet the last time we came here. So let's head round there. Ah, you're a warper. He's down there. One thing I'm going to do is take off my drill attachment because the claw actually has more damage per second anyway. Assuming you can hit. And I believe in myself. A second warper? Mean. Oh, I didn't bring my stasis rifle. That's why I should have brought that. Would Honestly, that might be worth going back for. The stasis rifle. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, you know what? Stasis rifle, I'm coming for you. Because that would just completely alleviate all threats. At least warper sized threats. The various leviathans? Perhaps less so. Also, since I have the claw equipped, if I see like rubies that I want, I can just grab them without having to get out, which is nice. I guess we're testing my uh, prawn suit piloting capabilities today. Wouldn't try and do this without the jump jets upgrade at least, and definitely don't do it without a grappling hook. Okay, let's grapple to here. See if we can regen some jets while I stand here. And then just, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Two jumps worth, yeah, I can do that. You know, Subnautic is very lucky that it doesn't have a stasis rifle attachment for the prone suit. Because it would be so over for them if it did. And then spare batteries. You know, a decoy could be useful. I might need to throw one. You never know. Let's get the stasis rifle. I wonder if the propulsion cannon can fire a decoy. That would be kind of huge if it can. But we're not allowed to load it in here. Give me a second. Either that or I just don't have anything. Oh, you can fire a decoy from it. That's actually really useful. Let's keep this then. Because that means... Ah! Uh, there's a grey bite. What, why grey? Orange biter. What are you? What, why are you orange? Hang on. Lighter. Okay. It's a British biter. Got it. Right, let's grab the prone suit. Ghost Leviathan's very close. Concerning. Oh, hi, Warper. He's going to be a little annoying bastard this whole time, isn't he? Well, that's not what I'm trying to do. Here we are. Let's see if we can find that one room again. Ah, oh, it's just at the entrance. Well, that was easy. What's in here then? Specimen research data. I did this for lore. Okay, if you want to read the lore, there's the first part. And there's the second part. You know, that might not have been long enough. There you go. Pause that as needed. So, now we need to go deeper. And our best bet, I think, is to go west from here. So there's two entrances to the next layer of cave and the other one is slightly more heavily guarded on the other side and this one's easier to get to on this side as well so west it is and we've officially reached the part of subnautica i've never played before so this is where my competence will fall massively so that's fun now if i see some nickel i'm gonna grab it because i know we need a few more for the rocket to get off the planet Minimizing my time down here would be very useful because it's a pain in the ass to get here. Oh wow, there's that place. That uranite or uraninite. Gimme. I forget what this is called, but we'll scan it and find out. Look, the water's blue. Or the brain is blue. Oh, the water's blue. That's how water works. This would probably be a good place for a base in this uh, sector of the map if you wanted to. But I've got my Cyclops. I'm good. God, I'm slow with this reinforced dive suit on. I'm pretty sure this biome is completely safe as well. That's nice. What are you? Giant cove tree. The indigenous life form. Vast tree encountered in a deep cove and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by greys. Okay, read this correctly, dyslexia. Rays grazing, not gaze raising, on its pink outer leaves. One, the bark is hardy and fast growing. It covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches on the surface. Leviathan eggs. The tree branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated Ghost Leviathan. The tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Where are the eggs? Oh, I see. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want to live here long term if one of those is growing there, but I mean, meanwhile, in the actual game of Subnautica, this is a pretty safe place. I mean, question is... Is it the leviathan eggs that make it safe? Or is it safe and the leviathans put their eggs here? Was the tree here first? Who knows? Let's keep going west though. And bladderfish down here. I don't even think a bladderfish could exist at these bloody depths. They're filled with air. They're not made of titanium. I bet this would actually be a really good place for the base. Well, if I want to build a base down here, I know where I'm doing it. These walls are freaky. 
They look like something made them rather than just being here. Like a being scratched them out. I don't know if I'm going the right way now. Oh well. Let's go fucking exploring, I guess. Oh, I see those little power leech fuckers. We found where we're going. Those power leech little shit bags are little shit bags. Steal your power. I'm gonna punch him. Go on, I believe. Oh, I had more range than I expected, and he had more durability than I expected. Yeah, two punches. Fuck that guy. Maybe a war we're not gonna win. So, now we wanna head back east. Oh, there's a warper over there. Wonderful. Uh, the prawn suit can take the heat. I just have to be careful where I get out. I don't know which direction is necessarily best, but I'm gonna go with the other way because it looks better. What are you? Oh, you're just a red eye eye. Okay. I hear a warper in that wall over there. Oh, I got warped. It's too hot to be warping me like that. Where the fuck did the prawn suit go? <laughs> Leave me alone. I swear, the precursors would have had a much easier time of keeping this planet secure if they just gave those fucking things a grenade launcher. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's drink some water. Can I drink inside the vehicle? I can. Oh, kyanite. That probably means we're near the bad place. What is this? Okay, I gotta find out. It's just a rock, okay. <laughs> I might want to try and collect that kyanite. Give me that drill. Throw that on there. I only need like 20 total for the entire game, so if I can get this, that would be nice. Oh, there's a new animal down there. Playing in the lava. Love that for him. There's a warper over there. Give me the kyanite. There's two. Five. That was a big movement sound I heard. There we go. Got a bunch of kyanite from that. I wasn't quite counting, but I thought I heard one of you little shitheads attached to my thing. Get off my shit, little rat. Right, how much kyanite is that? One, two, three, four, ten, fifteen. I think that's exactly how much I need, so that's great. <laughs> Thanks, game. I have to be careful. I can't go much deeper in this. There's more kyanite. Oh, uranite crystals. That's cool. The big ones, specifically. You gotta be careful around this actual lava. Bronze is good, but it's not that good. Fuck, one of those little shark things chasing me. This looks like where we're supposed to go. But where's the guards? Those massive guards. I think they're all on the other side, I guess. Or very high up. Either way, that's a Reaper Leviathan skull. Now you might say, wow, that's scary. Whatever's down here kills Reaper Leviathans. And what I say is, how the fuck did a Reaper Leviathan even get here? There's a warper. So I'm guessing this is where we're meant to be. You may have heard that dragon sound though. I imagine as we go around this corner, we will see who that sound belonged to. Probably a lot closer than I would like. I heard that. Ooh, it is. Go backwards. Oh shit, hello. <laughs> hey buddy. Take my chances with the other guy. <laughs> Alright, good news, bad news, they're both on this side. Where's the entrance to this place, though? Oh, there it is, I think. That looks promising. It's glowing kind of green. Um, you think that guy sees me? I sure hope not. I'm gonna get inside before it becomes a problem, I think. Ugh. See ya. He has a breath attack, by the way, just in case you thought you were safe far away from them. Uh, let's see, if I get out, I will probably be in pain. Oh, no, I'm good. The volcanic rock, which has formed in this area, can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years ago. Okay, 3,000 years isn't a very long time. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> Wait, what's that? Egg. To whom do you belong? I don't, I don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> I wanted more kyanite, though. Just in case I need some. Anybody living on my prawn suit, by the way? No, nope, come. Cool. Avoid the lava. No idea where I'm going, by the way, just so we're all clear. I'm guessing these eggs belong to these shark thingies that are running around in here. I'm guessing that's where we're going. If I fall too far down there, I'm going to start taking crush damage. I think the lava would be the bigger concern now that I think about it. I'll get a warper. Wouldn't want to have any fun now, would we? Let's get in here. Okay. Oh, ion cubes. Is that one of the actual drillable ones? Oh, nice. I want that. What the fuck did I just do to the prawn suit? How do you access the upgrades of the prawn suit if... You know what? Big brain time. <laughs> Let's just claim that. Oh, now you're on the ground, of course. Make it nice and easy for me. Yeah, here, take your bloody drill arm back. How much storage do I have in this? Sit down. Not much. Let me take some of the kyanite into my inventory then. And 
and by that I mean almost all of it. Let's drill this. There we go. That needs that. That's a decent amount. All right, let's keep wandering on through. Oh, a gate. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second. The outside, we don't have to worry about that. And we've got down the way, and then we've got this. What's this? Here, I have a tablet. Oh, it gives me another tablet. Oh yeah, we need that to get into the final area, but I think we have to make our own as well. What does that require? Blue tablet, ion cube and two kyanite. Great. We can do that. We can do that now. But I don't have fabricator on me, obviously. Come here. Hello. Me. Okay. You're very deep down though. The fuck? Kill that thing. Crush his skull. That worked quite well. I have to be kind of careful with my power. I've only got 66% left to get back all the distance I just came. Fossil data. Oh, that's bright. Let me change the screen. There we go. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It's been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on the indigenous organic remains 10,000 years ago. Life forms on record feature unusually low overlap with those encountered on 4546b. Extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event, killing off a majority of species, forcing rapid adaptation amongst many of the survivors. Yeah. The virus. Bacterium. Whatever it's called. Let me put something back in here. Here, have a kind of crystal back. Give me that. Fucking cube. Have another tablet. Okay. We scan these. Ooh, alien thermal plant. System directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% of efficiency. Most of this energy is being stored in a battery. Fully really automated. Interesting. Okay, we got two things here. What's this? Primary containment facility. South, southeast. Okay. So, south, southeast, 1.4 kilometers. Okay. We know where the primary containment facility is, though. Now we just need to go deeper, which would require upgrades. What's this got for me? Ion power data. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain stable. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints, which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. Did we get the upgraded power cells? Oh, yeah. Gold, silver ore, silicon, rubber, and ion batteries. Ion cubes, silver ore, and gold ore. Interesting. Things I have nothing of. <laughs> But we can get some. Right, there was one other thing. Really quickly. We grab the prawn. Right, so we need to go and make those upgrades now. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back to my base anyway. To get the prawn suit upgrade. Which is going to be necessary. Because I don't think you can take <laughs> the cyclops all the way. Let's do this though. See where this leads us. Now, important question. Save. Can you bring the vehicles with you? Oh. Where are we? We're 1.5 cam away from that. 1,000 away from that. Is this the quarantine enforcement platform? Right, a useful way back to the surface if you need one. Ah yeah, there's the moon pool. Okay, so we know where we are. And if we needed to get to the other floating island very quickly, we could use the teleport on this island. So that's a very useful way to get around. Alright, now we just need to try and get back to the Cyclops alive. I don't need the drill, so can you sit down please? Take the drill off. What if I use the propulsion arm and use the decoys? Can that be done on this? Let's see. Load. Oh, there's so much random shit. You can, yeah. It's not exactly convenient though with all the shit I have in my inventory. But uh, I'd be willing to try it. So how do we get out of here? I'm gonna go out here, I think. This is probably the hard part, getting back. Second, I need to drink. And eat, why not? I actually don't know how we get back out of here. There's some kind of an entrance here, but that's lava. That can't be a... Oh, it is, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the place. And just follow the path outside. Once they pick up the eggs. <laughs> At least since we're going back anyway, I could make one or two of those super power cell things. All right. So begins Operation Run Dit Run. That faces south. We want to go west. Oh, don't fall down there. I'm guessing that's how you get to the next area, though. Ooh, he's looking at me. Ugh, I just got stuck by one of those little fucking shitbags. Deal with that in a moment. Alright, where is he? Heard it, come on. 
Oh, I guess I didn't get stuck. Okay. This off warper. Uh, he's too close. I'm guessing that's the way I want to go. Alright, 48% power. Before we go any further, are any of those little shit banging on me? No. At least I won't have to worry about this soon, because, you know, thermal reactor will just do everything for me. And ion power cell. Hey, we're back here already. I'm at 40% power. That last stretch was really easy then. Just need to get my jets back. And then jump from here. There we go. And we're back to the HMS leaving, basically. We just have to cross this room. There is a ghost leviathan in here, though. And we're back. That's charging. Good. Right, so let's grab those materials I had before. Immediately, we can just make a thermal reactor module just fine. Now, I'm going to have to bring this up to at least 500 before upgrading the Cyclops module actually because we're under 500 if you take the module out you will crush this Cyclops which would suck so let's reverse out here a little bit we need to leave anyway you know the fastest way to do this might be actually to go over to the quarantine enforcement platform and use the uh, teleporter right down to the thermal plant rather than going through all these caves yeah, that might be the better plan of moving forward, is to use the teleporter. Oh, hello, Warper. Hello, other Warper. Hello, Ghost Leviathan that's way too close to me. Thanks, I hate it here. Please don't teleport me out the Cyclops. I don't know if you're capable of doing that. And I don't want to find out. I imagine they are. Alright, we're probably at a good enough depth there. Let's grab you. Make it oh, we need the Plasteel Ingot as well, one second. It's still in here somewhere. Got that. There we go, mark that. So we can now take the Cyclops to its maximum depth of 1700. Not that I'm going to, because that sounds like a really annoying way to get around. Uh, the prawn suit one we'll do as well. Let's grab that. At the very least, we can go down to it now in the prawn suit, but I would like to get the thermal reactor anyway. And if we want to make the other thing that we have to... Uh... What do I want to get rid of? Hang on. Let's get rid of the docking bay repair module in favor of the thermal reactor. Because that means I can just go and like sit over a thermal vent and recharge my cyclops. Anyway, as I was saying, let's head back. Because we need to to get the thermal reactor for the uh, prawn suit anyway. But next time we'll go to the quarantine enforcement platform and use that. Is this a thermal geyser or is this just a vent? No, this isn't charging us at all. <laughs> If I see one, though, I'll check it out. Okay, here we are back at base. Let me eat and drink. I don't have anything on me. Okay, I'll deal with that later then. Um, vehicle upgrade station. You're who I need. Oh, wait, I need a fabricator first. I should have built one in this room, but it's not too far to get to the next one. Here we are. Ion power cells. Cool. I need polyaniline. We've got to actually craft it once I gathered that gold. Prawn suit thermal reactor. So if I want at least one ion power cell for the prawn suit. I need two ion batteries which requires ion cubes, gold and silver. I don't have any of that left but I do know how to get some very easily. We grab the prawn suit. Also let me unpin all that. Also yeah we need to make another blue tablet. What do we need for those? Where the fuck do I even craft those? Yeah. Need two kyanite for that. I think you need two for the primary containment facility if I remember like a video I watched a year ago. So Let's put those in there. Let's throw this on the Cyclops. There we go. Give me a little bit of food as well. And water. Right, so for gold and silver, I know just the place. Grab the prawn suit. Empty out its storage temporarily and grab the drill arm. Put that in the upgrades. And then just descend into the jelly shroom biome. Because now I am definitely sure we've got the engines for this. And in here we can find nodes of gold and silver like this one there we go that's given me 13 silver i've got one at home so i've got 14 total that's good and then if we find a gold node here's one we can do the same with this there we go that's that mind which gave us 13 gold too that's completely coincidental right so that should be enough to make a couple of ion power cells at least one Oh, there was a gold node there as well. At least one for the prawn suit, which is the most important. And if I need to charge, I just sort of fly over the lava. 
Actually, you have to go a lot deeper to get any real temperature from that, don't you? Where are my actual thermal plants? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're charging up. See? Wonderful. Okay, here are my actual thermal plants. I don't know if there's anywhere for me to even fucking stand. Oh, yep, fully charged. <laughs> so if I ever need some charge while I'm in the jelly room biome, I'm sorted. <laughs> Alright, now for the fun part. How do we get out of here in a prawn suit? Come on, I did the Lost River waterfalls again, do this. I'll need to take a quick break over on this little thing. Some more juice. And then pretty much just straight out. There we go. Oh, the prawn suit has two power cells, does it? That's fine, we can make two then. I got the iron cubes on me? Yeah, cool. So we need some silicon rubber, which I actually have. So two ion, or I'll need four ion batteries, sorry. Need another ion cube. I have some spare in here. Oh, no I don't. Well, I have more than the Cyclops at least, but I was hoping there was more in my base. Here we are. Ion battery again. And then two ion power cells, please. Now, if I recall correctly, these have like, yeah, a thousand power compared to a regular power cell's 200. So, if we just pop these out, we should go from having like 400 power total in the prawn suit to having 2,000. Now, it does take longer to charge as well. That is a thing. But when you consider that I have a thermal thingy in there, I don't know what you would call it, I forgot what it's called, a thermal module, and that I can charge basically anywhere as long as there's warmth, uh, doesn't really matter, does it? Stand in some lava, well, not in some lava, but stand next to some lava for five minutes and you're fully recharged. So now, if I spend the weekend mining resources, this thing is going to be absolutely souped up. Now, I do worry that if I now put this in Cyclops, well, it's at, like, no power, it'll just eat the entire Cyclops' full power reserves instantaneously. So I might want to make a bunch more of those. How many ion cubes do I have? Because if I've got well, I can fully ugh, I can fully load the Cyclops with them. Let's see, that is only nine. You do get more of those mineable nodes though in the primary containment facility. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But I think it would just be smart, maybe to at least make three these power cells that way the cyclops can't really be completely drained by one prawn suit if i negligently decide to charge it from that does that make sense so i need more fucking silicon fiber and i need more silver and gold we got all that let's see and the last power cell there so now the cyclops should have 3600 total power which should mean that the prawn suit can never completely rob it unless I have a completely empty prawn suit and a very empty cyclops which seems like an unlikely scenario to be honest there we go got some spare power cells now they're useful in various ways and I still have a spare few ion cubes if I need to turn on some of those gates I know you get more in the primary containment facility anyway so I'm not too worried about it right well that's gonna have to do it for this episode we went down into the alien thermal plant we explored the Lost River and the inactive lava zone, we saw the sea dragons, we got the upgrades we need, just need to head over and head down, now I suppose, down into the primary containment facility, which is where we can cure the virus, which would allow us to start building the rocket to leave the planet. So we're nearing the end of the game, I bet that reef back is getting awfully close, isn't it? Uh oh, anyway. During the weekend, this is being recorded on a Friday by the way, I will do the thing where I gather shitloads of materials because you'll just need them for the various parts of Subnautica. And I'll fill up as many of these containers as I can and now with that super prawn suit I think we can do that quite easily. So yeah, let me know if you're still enjoying the Subnautica series and in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons if you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.